Hi guys, my name is Meads. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a quick review for the Valve Ray Mall Kit. I don't think that they have a specific skill on this one, but nonetheless, if you built Gundam Mall Kits before, this is kind of like a high grade 144th scale. And I really like the design, and actually kind of reminds me of a uh, Tiger and Bunny, which I think um, the mech designers are from, from Tiger and Bunny, so that's where we get the likeness. likeness. And I'm just gonna go over the things I like about this kit and you know, probably the accessories. So first off, um, it does come with a stand, which is great. And let's say spin it around. This is pretty much uh, a bare built. No pla uh, no stickers or paint. Just uh, if you were just not build it out of the box. You do have plenty of stickers as you can see here. Lots of them. But I, would, I prefer painting them, so eventually we'll get there. But yeah, uh, really nice. Uh, you get a lot of colors. You get red, uh, the clear green, gray, black, white, and clear pieces, as you can see here. Really nice. And why don't we just check out a little bit of articulation. So let me take this off. Stand. And right off the bat, you'll see a little bit of uh, interesting... Uh, um, asymmetrical design. You have a red stripe here which goes all the way to the back and on that note also you have the katanas on this side although you can swap it out and put it here. You also have uh, peg holes right there and you have this cool shield has clear uh, claws and plates on it and I think um, Oh, well, actually, later on you'll see more of the clear effect parts. Yeah, really nice. Articulation-wise, uh, fairly good for the head. You can look up, look down. Then you have the shoulder armor here, which is uh, completely separate. Then you have the hand. Then you have the elbow here, which I think... Um, I think you have double jointed, I think. Yep, double jointed, which is always great. And I also noticed that you have hollow parts here, kind of like how your our bones are constructed. I like the skeletal frame. <laughs> and the uh, same thing with the legs. You have the hollow part right here. It's actually kind of cool. I like that design. Then you have the clear parts here, uh, slightly pink. Same thing on the back. Again, kind of reminds me of uh, Tiger and Bunny. Uh, uh, knee air articulation. Really good also. Get a full bend. You have, uh, actually, let me do that on the red piece here, as you can see. It actually moves along with the bend, which is really good. Let me take this out. Yeah. Oh, I think I drop uh, the blade here, clear parts for the shield. Let's see, where's that peg? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and you have the wings on the back. Although, the connection on this one is kind of flimsy. Well, maybe I'm just not putting it correctly, but it's it kind of falls off uh, quite easily for me. But uh, right now, it's holding fine. But, uh, you can uh, rotate uh, this part here. So it's kind of like butterfly wings. And it makes you wonder why I put it on your turn A Gundam. <laughs> but yeah, I like this so wings. It kind of gives that uh, really nice uh, cape-like, or I guess wings. If it seems like it is a fairy. Yep. <laughs> and now you can move it forward, back. So a simple joint there. It's a little bit fragile, so you got to be careful a little bit. Then I think you have a little bit of gimmicks here on the side. Uh, you can take this out. You have a, a little bit of a short dagger. I think that's what the. Yeah. I'm not sure if he used that on the anime yet. Um, I do want to point out this is kind of like Gundam Seed. Really great mech design. Anime, not so much to my liking. So I just want to point it out there. I kind of stopped watching Valve Rape. Maybe I'll get back to it, but it gets ridiculous. 
after the fourth episode. I mean, the first part was great. Kind of, oh, I want to watch more. Then after, I'm like, okay, it's nah. Well, <laughs> that's that. Um, hips. Again, good articulation. Uh, you have a lot of bend. Oh, not so much on that way, but. And uh, from the foot, doesn't have a heel, but a fairly good uh, articulation. And again, really nice. Um, let me go over the weapon. So you have uh, two katanas with varying lengths, as you can see here. And they're actually on the, let me have them stand here. A clear, on the clear sprue. So they're clear. And some people might not like that, but actually I kind of like it because uh, it shines really well with the light and kind of gives you that uh, semi-chrome. <laughs> it's not chrome, but it's clear. You know, nonetheless, I like it. And I think you might have some stickers. I actually haven't really looked at the stickers uh, of how they are connected. Maybe they have something for the hilt. Then I got a goodie bag here with all the other parts, and I'm just gonna take them out. It does have some hands here uh, for holding weapons, so let me just do that right now. No breaking it. And that's pretty much how you're gonna connect the shield right there. And it's come on, there we go. And on the other side, you do have this uh, effect right here. Which is uh, kind of like for the punching. I basically just gonna take this out right here, the clear pink, and put this on. So again, some people would rather uh, would ask, you know, how come this is not didn't came on the clear pink? Uh, but it gives you an option if you want to paint it differently. You just have to find a clear paint paint. Uh, sorry. Clear paints, either green, pink, yellow, whichever way you like. Nonetheless, I do like the clear. Um, let me put that back in and uh, put on the other part, which is. I think I lost it. <laughs> there we go. Then there's an extra pair of hands, which is this guy, which can actually fold. This is only for the left and this is to support other weapons or for stance. And I'll go over it in a bit. Likewise uh, for the foot, I mean for the hand, uh, you're gonna have something for the foot. You take out the, this clear red pink and you attach this one. It actually comes in three pieces. You attach the perpendicular clear pieces looks really great it's kind of like a lightning uh, attack and you just attach it kind of like the how you do on the palm or the back of the hand and there you go some kind of lightning kick and that uh, looks amazing I thought uh, initially it was some sort of a booster for the foot but no it's some kind of attack all right putting that back in Weapons, um, you do have uh, two, I uh, forgot what this is called, but I like uh, mini sights. And sometimes you can just uh, slide this in. There we go. Maybe I'm not doing it properly, but uh, there we go. All right. Got those, uh, I think they're called sickles. <laughs> uh, that was a uh, running the compressor. Anyways, getting back to the review. It does look nice, as you can see. And uh, moving on, uh, let's go with the big weapon. I actually didn't realize that they had this, uh, or this weapon. It kind of looks like a rifle with a big um, sight at the end. Just kind of double bladed here. Kind of interesting. I actually kind of wonder if he can. Actually, he cannot hold it from here. I wish he could. So he can hold it like a, an axe. Uh, he can only hold it from this. 
but yeah and uh, actually you could put the other weapons here too which I'm gonna do that all right then I already put the hands there to make it easier to pop in later on so first thing you do is you grab the sickles and you kind of put it on the side and it actually is movable as you can see here and I'm not quite sure it looks like a mandible of a insect or the mouth piece <laughs> Um, then what you do next is grab this guys and uh, this actually Let's see if I have the other one mounts on here might be doing it incorrectly, but right there and the other one did you flip it over and like so Oh, it's kind of fun a way to have a rifle But you can put everything in there, which is nice and you just have to Somehow balance it in here which, uh, I wonder if I can do that. Actually, let me do that off camera And there we go <laughs> uh, You actually can hold it quite well Although even though it's kind of heavy, but yeah, nonetheless quite nice a really cool gimmick and I think that's pretty much it for the effect parts. All right, so that pretty much wraps up my review. Again, I really like this model kit. Uh, I think it's, it's very solid, um, nothing falls apart. Maybe just a little on the wing connector part, but so far, no problems. Again, a really great uh, and something different from your Gundam model kits. Again, really great. I really love the design, just not so much for the anime. <laughs> um, again, I got this from Tatsu Hobby. Uh, it's marked on the box as 2400 yen, but uh, if you check out that's a hobby, I think they have it for 24 25 dollars uh, Which is fairly close and uh, I'll put the link down below Otherwise, um, if you're somewhere else uh, you can check out your local hobby store. I think uh, It's readily available right now, and I can't wait for the new releases that they come out. I think it's number three the one with the it's heat yellow and you got the big arms so I'm looking forward to the next one. So until then, this is Meads. Thank you for watching.